I was pretty shocked when uh, David McWilliams and Bill Little and Ricky Brown told me. I didn't even know what to say. I was kind of uh, numb. So just the thought of being in that group of you know, amazing All-Americans and world record holders and Olympians and Hall of Fame coaches, it's, I mean, it's humbling. To be on those plaques with those people that your family can enjoy and appreciate for years to come is, uh, again, it's something I really can't even fathom right now. It, did, it has, that part of it hasn't totally sunk in, but the reason I'm able to be good at what I do is because of my family. Because my family sacrifices a lot in order for me to be totally committed and dedicated to the University of Texas. They love the place. We love the place as a family. So, you know, I honestly kind of think of it as all of us going up there and then, you know, a legacy for what you did. And at the University of Texas, the Sports Information Department has a, a pretty proud tradition of, of people. And I mean, I, I'm humbled to just be mentioned in the in the group with the Bill Sansings and Jones Ramseys and Wilbur Evans and, and Bill Little. So it's. Um, that in and of itself, all those people are in the Hall of Honor, and to be joining them um, just is kind of a, a, a recognition, hopefully, for a job well done and one that I can continue to do. Well, I'm extremely proud of, of John. You know, I think he, he'd been at Texas maybe two years before I got here, but pretty much we started at the same time, and, and I went into the College Hall of Fame last year, and, and to see John going to the Hall of Honor, I'm, I'm so proud of him, and I, I think. It's time for people to recognize the great work that he's done here behind the scenes and because so much of, of the story of Texas football and each of its individual players is told through the media. And I think the place where John sits is to make sure that those stories are told in a positive light and, they're, and that they're true and honest and I think he's done an amazing job and I'm so proud of him that finally now everyone is going to get to see the work he's done and how, how beneficial he's been to the University of Texas. We knew how much he loved to be around us players, to be around the university. A lot of people don't know, I call him Unc, <laughs> Uncle John, um, because he was kind of you know, like an uncle or a figure for me, um, not having my parents around on campus. You can always come for him to ask for questions, or he can always, he, he always guides you in the right way. I have built a, a great relationship with him over the past years, and I'm very happy for him. The most satisfying thing is definitely the relationships that you build with the student athletes and the coaches. and to know their families. The thing that keeps my fire burning is the fact that every year there's a, you know, there's a new group of young student athletes coming through. You, you feel a little bit like the coach in a way because you have a class of, you, they, you feel like they're your kids. You have a class of kids going through and for me, now that my kids have gotten a little older, it's, it's, it's really something because you start realizing that they're just like your kids. They play sports for a while and they're going to want to go on to a career and you sometimes you're mentoring them when it comes to what what they want to do in their future so there's a, all kinds of ways you you can help them but it it really just comes down to my passion for relationships and and helping young people. I think a lot of stuff that he did for me while I was on campus I didn't know or really appreciate um, because of course you know him ensuring that we're in the right publications and that our works were celebrated. Those are things that just kind of happen and you don't know how they're happening. But certainly after, and when I became a professional athlete, anytime I had anything going on, whether it was on the track, my reality show, my store, anything, I could always reach out to him and he would help to bring media partners around to promote what I was doing. So he was a great resource when I was in school, but an even greater resource um, when I was out of school. And that's why I think he's so deserving and just such an awesome guy. John, he prepared me from, from day one. Um, coming to UT, I'm, I was a very quiet, um, non-talkative type of person. I, I can always remember my first time going to a press conference my senior year. I started panicking, sweating. John kind of pulled me to the side and coached me through it. And ever since then, he's been my right-hand man anytime I needed to, to have any questions or feel comfortable about talking to the media. He prepared me for UT days and prepared me for the New York media. Him and Ross developed such an amazing relationship. I'll never forget, I have a couple stories about John, but one that I remember is when Ross won the Thorpe Award. He and I and Ross traveled to Orlando, and I remember when he was actually awarded the Thorpe Award winner, I looked over at him and he was just so proud. And I feel like he's always been so proud of his, the players and you know, wanting them to have that national recognition for their hard work. I feel like a family member when I watch those guys win an award. When I'm sitting next to Michael Huff and they call his name out for the Thorpe, even though most of the time I, I kind of have a pretty good idea, 
when they get up to walk up on that stage, there's no question. I've got the same chills they've got. When Ricky won the Heisman, I don't think there's anybody in the room that thought he wasn't going to win it. But when he won it, that, that was that's the pinnacle of everything you can do. I remember when I decided to stay for my senior year, uh, John had a lot to do with it. I was I spent a lot of time in his in his office during my, my time at school here, and then I came across the all-purpose yards record, the touchdown record, and the yards record, and realized, hey, I could actually get get to this. And uh, he told me if I did, he'd he'd get me the Heisman, and uh, he lived up to his word. And, and the work we did together my senior year, um, you know, when I'd get off track on the field or with the media, he would get me back on track and help keep me focused. And, uh, and I truly believe um, I wouldn't have won the Heisman Trophy without John. Talking to some of the former student athletes and, and visiting with people beforehand, it makes me realize the impact we have on them and then the impact they're having on my kids because, you know, they watch them and they look up to them as, you know, Ricky and Michael Huff and Aaron Ross and Jackson Jeffcoat and Vince and Justin Blaylock, they, they were all like big brothers to my, my daughters. So I always kind of felt like they were, were protected. And now my, my younger one plays volleyball and she goes to matches and she's watching the girls on the court and looking up to how they play and learning things from the way they carry themselves. So it's so cool to be a part of a, a family like this. This is my extended family. Very proud of John and his family. You know, you're never gonna find a guy that loves UT more than John Bianco and who approaches his job every day uh, with just pure passion and John helped me so much handling the media especially when I was in school he always had me prepared for my interviews he was always giving me great advice and he he did it in a way that that still allowed me to get my message across and uh, I'll forever be grateful to John and even as I transition into the pros there's times where I give John a call and he helps me out on uh, how to answer a certain question how to handle the media and, and uh, very appreciative of him and his friendship. Man, uh, John Bianco has helped me tremendously. I call him Little John. Uh, he's a guy that took me in uh, under his wing when I first got here in 2001. And uh, man, I, I couldn't talk to the media. I was scared of the camera. They helped me tremendously by being confident when I get in front of the camera. And uh, uh, throughout my career and, and after uh, when I got in the NFL, still t call him to this day. I mean, it's he, he's been a lifelong friend. Man, it's just an honor that can mentor me when I was here at Texas. Like a, I'm not a father because he's kind of, I don't want to make him seem older, but you know, more like a brother-ish kind of relationship. Since the day I got here, like I said, he's kind of welcomed me in with open arms and a lot of times I see him on TV, you know, he's kind of standing next to Charlie. They're like, who's that guy standing next to Charlie? But, you know, so he's always there. He's always, you know, doing his job, doing a great job. And without him, I said, you know, the ship you said, wouldn't run as smoothly as it does. So he's definitely a key part. Personally, extremely proud. Uh, John had a big influence on me while I was here. You know, obviously the things that the media and how to, you know, handle them and, and the little things. But really, the thing about John that I'm proud about is he's always been the guy that's shown a great deal of character. And the Hall of Honor is all about someone that brings honor to the University of Texas. And John, more so than anyone else, has done uh, at all times. First and foremost, I, I have to thank Bill Little for bringing me here and for teaching me how to how to tell a, a great story. The Lost Odds for bringing me here and showing me leadership. Eddie Reese for the why, always having a reason for the interview you do and the access you're providing. John Makovic for teaching me to be firm and fair. Mac Brown for helping me learn to manage crises at the highest level. And Charlie Strong for keeping the clutter out and focusing on the goal, what, what your goal at the end is. And then ultimately, my, my family for allowing me to do what I do. Media relations is a 24-7 job. You know, the fact that my family is there, supports my wife, was a student athlete, competed at a really high level, so she totally understands the job I do. I mean, I've been with her for 30 years, so married for 25, so she gets the responsibilities I have. My, my daughters are huge Texas fans. Um, they don't have a clue what's going on in the football field, so they don't ask me for rumors or gossip or share it with their friends. The only thing I enjoy more than watching Texas compete is watching my daughters play volleyball. And they've always been there to you know, allow me to be there for the student athletes, the coaches, the programs, no matter what time of day or when it is. What's even more rewarding than the, than the recognition is the notes and the letters and the calls and the people that have, who have reached out and you know, say, boy, this is much deserved. It just, it, it just reminds me of why 
I do what I do and why I'm so passionate about working for the University of Texas.